All right, good morning, everybody. It is the 3rd of July, and here is your five minute room rescue, two minute hotspot drill podcast. Now, if you know that, do you know, um, today there's gonna be two days of fireworks for us, the 3rd and the 4th. Yep, we got two, two days worth of fireworks. So today, For our topic, we are going to talk about positivity and attitude. All right, timer is starting right now. Now, you're pretty not good at positivity, but if you don't know what that is, make it help you get a negative attitude, bring attention, but it's positive. Right. Okay, so why is positive so important? Well, positivity is important because if you believe you won't, you're not going to. If you believe you can, you will. So every time we think of something, and negativity is so easy to go to. It is just, it's absolutely just, it's easy to say, I can't. Instead of saying, I should, I can Or I can't do it right now, but I will work on it. So when it comes to decluttering, when it comes to cleaning, when it comes to doing routines, if we, oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. I can't, I'm not able to do that. I can't do that. You're right. You're not going to be able to do it. The only way that you get through with everything is by having a positive attitude and believing that you will. If you don't believe that you will, why even try? The only way you're not going to be able to do this, the only way that you're not going to be able to declutter your home, the only way you're not going to be able to implement these routines is if you believe you can't. Well, let's not believe that we can't, and let's believe that we can. Because that is something so important. Maybe you just can't do it right now, but you'll be able to. Looking at things in a positive light, oh, this room is never going to get clean. Well, why not? Are you planning on not cleaning it? Or are you going to try? Are you going to work at it a little bit each day? And see that you're going to be able to do it. No matter what we do, it's still one item at a time. It's one minute at a time. It's one thing at a time. And you'll be able to do it. Unless you sit there and think that you can't. No matter how much we talk about doing things and multitasking, that's a myth. Okay? It's one item at a time, one area at a time, one thing at a time. You can handle one item at a time. You can make one decision at a time. Just believe that you can. If you can't come up with a decision on that one item, maybe it's a very special item to you, then wait on that item. Don't do it now. Do it later. I'm sure there are other things in your home that you can make a decision on that is so much easier. Look at the rooms. Look at what you're doing. Okay, maybe the routines are hard to... I definitely would never suggest doing the whole routine at once to start with. Build it up. Work at it little by little and you will be able to complete it. Because that is what this is about. It's about building it. It's about making sure that... You implement these routines. It's a slow process. But if you have a negative attitude towards it, you're you're never going to get it done. Because you're not fully trying. You're looking at the negative part. You're looking at the the part that's easy to look at. Basically, you're looking at the negative side. And you want to look at the positive side. Right. And that's the negative. Because you can do these things. Believe me, I have seen people go from homes that are covered with a foot of trash. And I'm going to use the word trash because if it meant anything to you, it wouldn't be on the floor where you're walking on it. Um, <clears throat> and three containers full of stuff 
down to a home that is more decluttered than mine. And they were able to do it one item at a time with a positive attitude. So I know that you can do this. I believe that you can do this. It's a matter of just believing in yourself, believing in what you're doing, and taking it step by step a little at a time. And with that, anything is possible. Anything is probable. Anything can happen. I just want you guys to remember that positivity is key and work on that positivity every single day. For every negative thought, for every negative action, it takes seven positives to counteract that. There's your five minutes. Go ahead and stop. All right, we're going to get our two-minute room rescue done now. If you're not planning or your two-minute hotspot drill done now. If you're not planning on doing that right away, then please take some time, come back to this video, and start it later, now, okay? if you haven't watched my mom's videos, I should go do it. Yeah, you think they should watch the videos? Yeah. Use these in conjunction with the reminders that I sent up every single day um, to help you with it. So your two-minute hotspot drill is about to start. Today we are going to focus on the next step in the before bedtime routine, which is pulling out our clothes. So here we go and begin. All right, the most important thing with pulling out your clothes is you're gonna say why. Well, this one was a hard one for me in the beginning. I've said it numerous times. I live in Wisconsin. What you wear in the morning is definitely not necessarily what you're going to be wearing all day. So my whole thought was, why? Well, what happens if I don't want to wear it the next day? What happens? I had every excuse in the book for this one. The point and the fact of the matter is this. When we pull out our clothes the night before, when we look on our calendar, which we talked about yesterday, the night before, we know what we're going to need to wear. We know if we need to dress up, dress down, doesn't matter how we dress. We pull it out. We have it set up. I mean, I am talking socks, underwear, bras, earrings, everything. Pull it out the night before. Let it be there have it all on a hanger, have it all in a spot where you're going to get to it, it will save you a good 20 minutes in the morning. It also helps if you have a significant other that is still sleeping, and then you don't need to worry about going and waking them up by turning the lights on. Use it as a part of Sunday and pull out clothes for the entire week, and then that way, if you don't want to wear something that day, you have seven other outfits to choose from. So each day you're whittling down the outfits, but then you know what you're going to wear. You have an idea of what you're going to wear and it will knock off a significant amount of time in the morning. Um, I have some ladies that work out in the morning, so that's what they have. They pull out their workout clothes, but then they also pull out their day clothes also. So that is your hot spot drill timer is up. Please have a wonderful and safe day today. Remember, you can achieve anything as long as you put your mind to it. I will talk to you later. Bye.